guys. Uh, so first of all, I want to say that yes, it's a bit pink here because I'm in my daughter's room uh, to do this video. But today the video is about some optimization of Instagram accounts for vacation rentals. Uh, some of you were interested in having my like thoughts about each of your accounts. So I will uh, go and look at each of yours and give you some tips. I will make sure to tag uh, each of you in it. So first, let me check what's your name, Michelle, yes. So Michelle, she has her apartments in Antibes and she is doing very good for a lot of points. So that's why I uh, will start with her so that you have an idea of something that you can look uh, into to see, okay, what, uh, what should I do? It's a very good example. Of course, Michelle, I will also give you a few tips, but first I want to use uh, your account as an example. So first she has like a clear logo saying, okay, what is it? Like apartments in Antibes, which is a city in France. This is pretty clear. Then she says like what people should do, follow stories for daily taste of Michelle's and Tibbs, Côte d'Azur, book direct. Again, she gives the website to book direct and also a link as a user on Airbnb to give more credibility. Some people prefer to also see Airbnb, which is really good. Now, one thing I'm thinking right now, Michelle, when I'm seeing uh, your thing, you know that uh, there is something called link tree. So for instance, if we go to my account, I will show you. Um, link tree, it's to enable you to have multiple websites on, uh, on here, on Instagram. So you see when I created, it's a free. Now, of course, like there are things that are not free on this, but uh, usually it's free and you decide which websites uh, which links you want to use. You can, so you can, if you're on different channels, you can put it. If you want uh, to say, okay, book direct here, like book direct for discounts here, then you get the link to uh, your website here. Then if you have like Airbnb a listing, you put uh, book with Airbnb or check our uh, profile on Airbnb or different properties on Airbnb. If you have more than one property in different places or more than one room, then be sure to also put the different links to the different pages. If you have a blog, you can put like um, follow our blogs for the latest uh, tips for the area, things like this. You can have different links with Linktree. So that's one thing I was thinking when I saw uh, your uh, Instagram, but it's also worth it for all of you who uh, are watching today. Also, one thing I would add, I would add, I would check for the right hashtags um, and I would put a hashtag, at least one or two hashtags in your descriptions. And that's uh, helping you to have like the people looking for those hashtags with those hashtags to find you as well. For instance, I, I haven't checked exactly for each person, of course, because it's, uh, this takes time, but I'm giving you like ideas on how to check. Be sure to check hashtags which are between 1,000, 10,000. This is easy and to do it. You can put, for instance, if I check South of France. Um, so you see South of France is just 2 million, so almost 3 million too much. Uh, South of France wedding, if you can, this is not a too bad uh, hashtag. Um, so friends, life, um, mm -hmm. what else? This is just one example of a thing which come to my mind. So for friends, but you can put other thing yeah, to, uh, to check which is the best hashtags to put here, which are the hashtags uh, also from your competitors. Check your competitors, which hashtags uh, hashtags are they using, which one is working the best. And I saw that you're doing the stories. It's very good and it's very good stories to try the hashtags. So you can try uh, one hashtag in one story and see, okay, afterwards with the insights, when you check the insights, did I get a lot of views for these stories? This means this hashtag is good and it's a good hashtag to target when also you're like either for your bio um, here 
or in the comments here. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the stories. So for Michelle, but for everyone, like she's doing great for the stories. You see, like she has, she's doing stories. So for instance, if we check here, she did 19 hours ago. She showed um, Nice from above. And here, you see, I would add a hashtag to see which hashtag is working the best. Yeah. And uh, here you try the hashtag. This hashtag British Airways is a bit too wide. So this will not help you to get more followers or more people see your things because probably I don't I don't know exactly the numbers, but they have a lot of uh, people uh, with this hashtag. So it's better to use a hashtag which is smaller. Um, and then this is perfect. When you do a story, then you can create highlights and you can name the highlights as you did, Michelle, amazing. So you like created different highlights with like day trips, markets, museums, Antibes, Cap View, beaches, carousel, and uh, reviews. Be sure to put um, reviews often enough so that the reviews are on the on the left because otherwise like people have to go uh, to the right and they don't always go to the right. To be sure that it's always visible because it's very important to have the reviews. So that's one thing and really, you don't have to have that many highlights uh, if you're starting, but things like day trips, uh, things like uh, as she's doing, like places to eat, this is a good uh, highlight. You can also create a highlight about you, a highlight review, as we said, and highlight uh, properties. If you have different properties, make a hi one highlight per property, or if you have different rooms, one highlight per room. So this is for the highlight. This is very like good example, Michelle. Then afterwards, we check the feed. So this is very personal for each person because each uh, account is different, each place is different. Some pictures are working better for some followers. Some are not working that much for other followers. Uh, so what you have to do is you look at which pictures you like, it's always trial and error, and you look which picture is working the best for you. For instance, this one, you get a lot, a lot of comments. So that's great. Why? Uh, so now that you know that you got a lot of comments, why? And uh, tell me which one you want to visit uh, in anti most. Yes, so this is a great, great example i love it that's everything always i'm saying to people build engagement and ask them questions people like to choose between different options so this is great like people say i love everything and adopt all of them all of them all of them all are good but i prefer the first one some ask where they are taken and you're like very good thing you're uh, replying to every comments that's amazing so you see that a post where you're asking a question and where you're asking people to engage on your post is getting big uh, bigger return a lot of people are commenting and the more people are commenting the higher you will uh, be so that's perfect and here such a lovely day so you see try try to always ask people to comment and one thing is good to ask is say like where, uh, who would you like to go here with or something like this so that they tag people this is something also working very well and i would advise to put the hashtags here only in the first comments not in the description in the caption but that's like perfect so for you you know that pictures of sites where you're asking people their opinion is working very well so that's one good thing uh, here you had like a lot of likes also for pictures of a site. So again, let's see this one. I got a lot of comments. This is a video. My who wouldn't uh, stay here? Yeah, we will be in September. Looking forward. Which month is best to visit? They are commenting like saying that they want to stay here. So it's it's really good. Like you're asking them to engage. That just Perfect. Yeah. So no, no more things to say uh, to you, Michelle. You're doing great. So that was it for Michelle. Now let's check. Okay, you. 
and just I want to each time have your right name. So okay, so here I am at very I think it was the first one, yeah. So uh is your name Barry or the other one that I cannot pronounce? Uh, hey, Win. So one of those uh, uh, is your name. Sorry that I'm not sure which one is yours. So for you, you like you're missing a description here. Uh, this is great that you have your website. That's uh, perfect. You're missing a description and also saying like where it is in the description. Be sure to put where it is. What is it exactly? Is it? It seems to be a villa. So put that uh, if it's a villa. Say how many uh, guests you can accommodate. Put like keywords of things uh, and showing what what is your place about, so that people when they go to your uh, Instagram they know what it is. Okay. One thing as well uh, as I mentioned the highlights. So you did one story. Let's see what it is, or give to you, book direct, receive 10% uh, and free breakfast. So here, instead of just writing highlight, change it for like book direct discount. That way people know, OK, they click in, they, they see the code so to have the discount. And as I said for with Michelle example, do different highlights and change the name of each highlight to like really highlight what are the best showcase, the best things about your place, put reviews in the stories and things like this. Now let's see what's working the best on your account and let's see what you, how you're doing it. So you are putting, okay, again, the hashtags in the first comments, ask for questions. Huh? Uh, when the chooks pops in to see Nana. So very sweet, your sweet, this is your thing. Then, like travel, you see too wide, uh, BNB too wide as well. Be sure to have something which is not too wide. Use uh, hashtags which are not that uh, that wide in that sense. So that's one thing I'm loving. Uh, the silicone food saver from my avocado. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. That's great. <laughs> we always have the problem with the avocado, right? Uh, the same. Put the hashtag in the comments. And also, here, here that would be like a perfect way. A lot of people, like, be sure to tag vegan because uh, vegan people love avocado. Tab, ta, tag avocado lovers or think, like check uh, hashtag which is working for this. And be sure to ask the question, like, who who loves avocado or tag uh, people tag a friend who likes avocado here you will get engagement asking people to engage okay so here you ask like what would you love to see when you stay and you can do like michelle did offer different uh, pictures and say which one is your favorite uh, a lot of avocados here um and here okay here you got a bit more comments the review so you see if reviews are working well uh, for you be sure to put more reviews and add a story like what was where where was this guest coming from or things like this so for you you see that what's working best is a review so put more reviews um Ah, your story, probably a story about you, I guess. I would like to show you an old photo of my dad. So yeah, you see that this uh, photo like got uh, some reply from people. They like engage with your post, so put more pictures with animals. We all know that it's working very well. And more personal pictures. So you see personal pictures, pictures of review are working very well for your place. And oh, okay, this is working very well. But here you addressing more to people who have an Airbnb, who, have, who are hosts, and this is good. But this is not your target audience. So be sure to have like the right um, the right hashtags to target travelers. 
but it's also always fun to do things like this. Now we go to you, so Barnfield, Jenny. Now we go to you, Jenny. So it's great again, you put the website, that's a good point, and you put a bio which is dreaming of an English countryside holiday, a weekend away. Oh, weekend away, so that's good. Follow along and we will share what we love about the area and our fab vacation rental. So that's, that's great. You say why they should uh, follow you. That's uh, very good. Be sure to add a hashtag, which is for your place, something which goes with Kent or with the area. Um, and also explain who is this place uh, good for. Is it uh, good for families? Probably it's very good for families. Uh, groups, how many bedrooms do you have? It's good to have those uh, indications here. And let's see what's working. So you see that this one is working quite well. You took it back uh, to Kent from Bali. Uh, I love the colors and details. Uh, Australian artists, yeah, be sure to tag people, partners. That's very good. You put in the comments the hashtags, that's good. Con English holidays cottage. So if this is one hashtag, let's see how many, um, what's the number of this hashtag? Mm, okay, 12, so not wide enough. Uh, find a hashtag which is wider. Very autonomous, thought so, it's really big. So people are commenting and you're replying to the comments, I see. So this is very good. And and you ask, did you ask a question on you? It will be a layer. So uh, put a question, always put a question. Like, do you love the, co uh, do you love uh, colorful paintings or tag a uh, person who likes colorful paintings? This is something, but you see that here, decor is something that is, seems to be working very well for you. So I would do more of this. This looks like a wonderful spot to relax and look at that gorgeous guy. Ah, no, that's someone who commented, I thought it was yours. And family and friends, we just have two dates available. Congrats. <laughs> and for more book, drop a message. That's perfect. But you want... You want them to book, but you also want to build engagement. So be sure to like say, tag a friend who would like to enjoy this sun on their holidays or things like this. Okay, this looks like a wonderful place. And you're um, replying. This is good, but again, I can see that you're targeting more. People who are commenting are more people who also own their place and probably they are not really your um, your target so be sure to find the right uh, the right hashtags for your targets and yeah uh, oh you see again very good engagement when you put people uh, play picture of decor so pictures of decor for you are working very well so now we will go to uh this corner so sad wind hopefully as well i'm not uh, pronouncing it badly so no your place beautiful holiday cottage in the heart of cornwall sleep for six great wi-fi and parking check ability and book direct on our website that's perfect you're doing the stories with the reviews accommodation out and about that's perfect and the website here I would put like book direct uh, for discounts. Here, let's see what you put in the stories. The review, so be sure to put a hashtag for each review as well, so that you can try the hashtags which is which are working the best. But perfect, like this is really good accommodation. So yeah, one thing I would do for you: had hashtags in each story, had the hashtags to be sure that people see you. Now let's see what's working. It seems the videos are not working bad for you. So, and yeah, here, let's see. 
uh, high tie tonight for the credits. Put the hashtags in the first comments. Oh no, not again. Hope they are not too much damage. So something kind of surprising is working for you, of course. People are caring, so they comment. Sunrise, perfect. So here, you put photo credit, put a story. People like uh, to hear stories, so put a stories and ask people to engage. Ask a question. You can put different pictures of sunrise and say, like Michelle was saying, what's your uh, favorite sunrise? This is a good good thing that you can do. But yeah, I would continue putting like pictures, nice pictures of the area that's working for you. So that's what I would do. Now let's go to the next person, uh, Janet. So Janet, luxury three bedroom property, perfect. You're describing well in the heart of Devon with one acre ground, ideally situated. Um, so that's perfect. Again, I would have the hashtags, which is good for your place. And let's see what's working better and what you can focus on. So this seems to be working. Let's see why. The start of a gorgeous sunny day. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Ask a question. Like, say, like, what do you like to do on a sunny day? What do you like to do on a sunny Sunday? Uh, who would you like to spend uh, time for a barbecue? Tag a friend who likes barbecue as much as you, because we see the barbecue here. Anything that you uh, think of as a question, each time ask a question for people to engage. And the hashtags should be below, OK? And be sure to have the right hashtags. Not only self-catering holidays is good, barbecue too wide. By maybe try barbecue lovers. Usually when we put lover or lovers, uh, it's like not that wide and you can target uh, the same kind of people. Barbecue days might be good. Again, I will not check each hashtag. Be sure it's between 1,000, 10,000, so that it's enough uh, visibility for you. Uh, but this is like something which worked well. So of your outside place, really focus on what people love about your place. Probably they love your garden. So uh, again, you did a picture of your garden. Very good. So what I can see is that focus really on yeah, your highlights. You see each picture where you get comments are pictures from your place. So be sure to really focus on this. And then the last one for today is Alison. Okay, let district holiday cottage, yes. Say where it is. I check this, I have no idea where it is. I don't know where is your cottage. So be sure to mention where is your cottage. And yeah, for you as well, be sure to add the highlights. Huh? Uh, and here, let's see what you have on uh, highlights. Okay, uh, so this is, you like put a hashtag in the story. And also here, I would uh, change this highlight name by like things to do. Oh, like, yeah, things to do around and put the name of your place. Let's see what's working for you. So you're like a new account, so don't worry. 100 uh, people who are following you, so it means that of course, like not that many people will comment or like. That's why it's very important to have like the right hashtags and the stories. Do as much stories as possible to reach more people, and so that you build your followers. And also ask for people. I'm trying for you. You see, it's the beginning, so it's difficult to see what's working the best. So just try. But the most important. Let's see the last ones. Um. The most about the apple harvest. So ask for engagement. Put uh, the hashtags. Put more hashtags. Huh? Be sure to put more hashtags. 10, 20 hashtags is good. Find the right ones, as I say, between 1,000, 10,000. And uh, ask for engagement. Like Who likes to go to the market on on, uh, on the weekends or things like this? So um, who are you preparing food for uh, this weekend? And people tag. Tag people you 
are going to prepare a pie for this weekend, for instance, something like this. Just things that come to my mind when I see this picture, of course. Uh, you can ask for tag for any way or ask any question, just something which is related to your uh, picture and put a story, put the story, say maybe that uh, you love Apple, you love, uh, you have like an Apple tree on your property, maybe. Be, be specific, tell a story regarding the picture. So that was it, ladies, because there are a lot of ladies commenting on the post. So that was it for today about your uh, different Instagram. Be sure to ask me any question if you have additional questions and be sure to check out the trainings that I am launching. It will start uh, next week. And one of the points is of optimization of Instagram, get more followers, how to get more followers on Instagram, but it's also how to get more followers on Facebook, how to optimize your website, your listing on Airbnb, how to create an email list, how to nurture your email list, how to do Facebook ads, a lot of things in this training. Uh, be sure to check in the comments. I will put the link for the training.